Hi, welcome to this um, setup that's 19.12.3. There is also already a 0.4 and uh, we're testing them now. But in the meantime, while everything is building and the ISO is being created as we speak, then I thought well, let's get uh, Arch Linux and let's install Arch Linux and then install all our Arco Linux desktops on Arch. So Arch Linux is based on the system called Arch Linux. You can get this download from any of these places. Um, I thought there was a torrent here. We click it, we open it, I agree. You say okay, and that's been downloaded. Actually, super fast. As you see, how much download speed do I have? I can have up to 48, 14, 9, 50. That's what I'm paying for. There is no miracles with torrents. You get what you're paid for. Okay. Delete. Whoa. Not Do not delete the file. <laughs> okay. And quit that one as well here. Exit. So we've got our ISO. Then Super F7. We launch our, uh, Oracle VirtualBox template. We clone the template and we call you Arch Linux. And this is the November ISO. So, right, clone. Optical drive, choose to download. Alphabetical, yeah, now it is installed. Run, of course, the other screen as usual. Normally, I have it on my second screen, and we boot. If you see this graphical thing, you know already I've set my virtual box to MBR as a bias upset, not an EFI. You can set that as well, it takes a bit longer, um, but you can fake it. All right. Um, Closed it. Hmm. So, Control G, Arco Linux, please. The D website, the, the D website is for the Arco Linux D ISOs, but XFC and desktops, all these desktops are explained. And there is also the phase five. And the phase five, that's the one I need. Phase one, bias. So, I'm going to follow along what says it says here and uh, make a one long big video of it and that's like this one all in one this are these are all the videos that i made where i start from a and end with a desktop with z so all in one installation of arch linux with bias head up sloft we're going to make the extended version of arch linux a new arch linux extended iso has been created so phase one go so my right screen, scrolling down. Yes, we are in BIOS, we know that. I just saw, load the keys. That's the first thing I need to do. I, I need to figure out what key set you need. And it's easy to, for you to find a bit of Googling and you'll know it. And then never forget it. I have Maserti, that's what I need. Verifying boot mode, we know we're in bias internet, we know we have internet, we're not gonna ping. Update the system clock is the first thing I need to type. Time, control, let's, oh, okay, let's, wanted to make it full screen. Control F. So, time, date, CTL. I'm not gonna say everything. Scrolling down, partitioning. GPT, DOS, GPT, EFI, no, DOS, yes, bias. Free space, we're not gonna use swap. We've done that before. You can use swap. Last time I don't think we use swap, so let's use swap this time. 
So let's say we take about 17 gig for the root partition, primary partition, Linux, and it's bootable, please. Please boot. And this is going to be our type swap. And write this, please. Check again. Okay, 17 gigabytes Linux X4. And this is going to be written. I need to write yes. Do it. Type yes. Quit. I believe there is a quick check at this point in time. Very below somewhere. Format partitions. No, it's not. I should probably scroll to it. I think it's list block or something. Here you see you have two partitions on SDA. So we're good. Make me a file system. Okay, then make swap on device SDA. Ah, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. SDA2. Let's hope that doesn't bring us into issues. That was a typo. Swap on device SDA2. Everything seems to be okay. We'll soon know enough if something goes wrong. Let's mount our device SDA1 into a folder. The mirrors. Hmm. Let's have a look. What's the first these days? We're coming from France, so it's actually not that bad for me. Poland is worse. The United States is a bit further away. Netherlands. Let's see. Yeah, update does not exist here. Is that fast? I don't know. Can we get a one from this one? Is that faster? How about The Netherlands. Now I'm just playing around. Uh, no. Okay, that's better. Eh? 25.4 megabytes. Then we have a fast installation. Okay, Pac-Man Merrill is done. Install the base and the base development packages. But these days we have some more stuff to add. So packstrap in there, we need base. I like to have base develop as well. Linux kernel, please. And the Linux firmware, a bit more to type. And nano, otherwise, well, in phase two, we don't have nano. Uh, this is quite fast. Choosing a mirror is important. Then the video is shorter. Installation is faster. V is available by default. We need nano later. It says here base development. We will install the sudo package otherwise. So yeah, that's why we install all these things. It's explained on the article. And then we're going to generate an FS tab to file system. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, wrong screen. Genevas tab minus U. Mount me two. ETC FS tab. No, no, ETC. I always do this just to be sure that there is something in there. Otherwise, I will not be able to. Boot. And all the work and time has been for 
not arch root ls this is your future system yay then we need to say where i'm from i'm living if you didn't know it in europe in brussels and that's my local time and the hardware clock okay scrolling scrolling look alley there's a short version a long version i'm going for the short version no reason but short or long you cannot allow typos okay Oh my god, come on. That as well. And then scrolling along. I was here. Keymap, V Gonzale, right. No typos, I don't think so. Then the host name. Um, oh. Okay. Short version, long version. Then it is a long version. And then we have the nano etc hosts there's a lot of typing use tab now That's that. Network configuration. Here we are diverging from the setup from Arch Linux. We wanted to have it. We use Network Manager like always. All 18, well, soon 20 desktops. And we enable it, of course. But there's a trick. Once the trick is known, big N, big M. And don't forget to enable it. That's it, three links. If you see three sim links, good to go. Init RAM FS no longer needed. The root password is a very complicated password that everybody nobody can guess when you want to boot forget this part you can boot you have to do it once so you know what's gonna happen so that's that I think we do a control F here and shut down some stuff. So grub make configuration my O Eric O not a zero O and then boot
correct. Let's see. Uh -huh. Who drop? Uh -huh. Okay, go for it. Scrolling down, reboot it says. Exit. We're out of this thing. And then we unmount everything. A special mount. A few years ago we had something else. Reboot. So this is phase one. Next phase is putting to existing. So the grub is successfully installed, otherwise we would have and see nothing. Maybe some error messages, yeah, but that's it. Going to next step. So when this is done, we're all at the bottom here. You go to all the way down and you see here next step. So phase two is started now. Arch Linux phase two. Okay. Back to the side. The other screen. A little bit bigger. Like so. So there is no Eric here. So there is only root and I log in as root. Scrolling. Follow the multi-lip, not in ArchWiki. We can activate it if you like to see how it's done. Nano etc. Uh, Pacman.conf. Scroll down. That's the testing, and that's the not so testing. So that's done. If you do an update, no, does not exist here. <laughs> You'll see an extra line, multi-lib. Multi-library. Bash completion is something we like to have as well. Next time we boot into our own account, so we can press tab and it completes whatever it thinks it's gonna be. That's a good thing. And then something very long and very tedious, but super important. Let's add myself. Let's add a user and then different groups, audio group, Eric, right, success. Password to Eric, Ta -da. done. And now the reason why we installed the sudo package a little bit earlier on, editor is or equals vsudo. Going down to here, I suppose. Uncomment that one, wheel, all, all, yeah, that's the one. Super X, yes, go. Done. Exit again. This time I'm Eric. And I need to do my pseudo pacman minus S. This time I really need to say, well, pseudo. So, um, back here. So, the last thing we did was reboot. Okay, that's something else in the meantime. So, reboot. Fine. Next step. Phase two. Um, pop, 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 pop. We clicked on something. What happens here? So when we click here, okay, fine. So we're on seven. Seven means Linux phase three. Let's get graphical. We have already this, but we do not like to stay in a black environment. We want to have something graphical, right? And graphics is xorg. So, sudo pacman minus s xorg server xorg apps, which is a group of different things. It's in it. You can Google that, you'll see the list online. That's the one that goes online. Control C. These days on Arconix we don't install Xterm anymore. We have XFCE, we have Termite, we have UrixVT. It's three, it's enough. Xterm is coming from here. 
when we start uh -huh, okay fine and then we scroll down there's no virtual for virtual box there's no driver needed so we can skip that but we do need light dm sudo pacman minus s arco linux whoa um light dm that's from arch linux now the rest comes from well normally i would type arco linux but um, we have our own package for lightm gtk greeter and the settings we're not going to install so the lightm gtk greeter settings is in application to well set the settings right and if you now forget maybe we should forget it um, if you now forget to type system sudo system ctl enable lightm if you forget to install it then it won't it will it will will it will work if you reboot i think let's try i think it will work so let's not activate it and see i hope we get an error so i can share the knowledge but i think it might just kick off all right but normally enable the lightm service is what i always do never tend to forget that one just forgot it once thank god so we have something to learn so sudo system ctl and indeed why should it start if there's no uh, link no sim link available now you can type the whole thing, lightn.service, uh, but that's enough. So I don't like to type too much. That's what I meant. There is no link. So why would Arch Linux launch lightm? There is nothing to launch. But rebooting now, uh, sudo reboot does not exist. So SR, our alias does not work here. And you see how fast these aliases are in your fingers. Update SR. <laughs> we tend to type before we think All right it's good that we've done this eh? not intentionally but it's great that we've done this because this happens as well you forget to install something behind you have light dm but there's no software behind it's explained in the video eh? do not in the text here do not reboot until you have a desktop environment do not forget to enable light dm so and then we choose a desktop so now we're going to, well, make more or less a um, Arco Linux extended on Arch because Arco Linux is based on Arch, so there's not that much difference. But we need to get our packages in. So but first is this thing, right? Um, first this thing. The question is, what will we put afterwards? We have in... Uh, our application so let's see if Google finds something already always interesting to see how fast it is working extended Arch Linux extended we always get Arch Linux extended but okay whatever a project a launch of a new project called Arch Linux B extended so that's uh, information and here we already we have enough information to, to go ahead so we can install OpenBox as the first one, as awesome of BSPWM i3. Maybe I'll go for i3. I think it's less to install OpenBox. Well, no. so it's a choice. I choose i3. Now, how do I get past this? With uh, VirtualBox, you do the right control. Okay, look at your keyboard, right control. If you're on a hardware or on a bare metal, Control Alt F2, F3, F4. I press on VirtualBox the right Control F3, for instance. Okay, we need to stay a little bit longer in the black screen and get our puzzles or pieces of the puzzle or our Lego blocks in. What do you want to have? Um, I3. What's there to? The three was not active here, so no. Come on, Numlock pot pat thing so these are the choices i3 caps i3 wm i3 blocks i3 lock i3 what i like to have is gaps and i3 status done 
Oh, password. So, that's that. But... But... I would like to get, straight away, all the packages from Arch Linux. Sorry, from Arco Linux, right? So, that's what we call getting the spices in. In here, in phase 5, we have this Spice Up Arch. It's all about getting all the work we've done on Arco Linux in on an Arch Linux. And it's all explained here and this is going to be another video in here. So spicing things up. Well, get our knowledge, get our data. GitHub.com. I suppose Git is not installed. <laughs> Thought as much. Minus S git. Oh, that's indeed a very strange command. Git is installed. Done. And then Arco Linux D Arco i3, right? We wanted to get working with i3. This is what we get. There is a particular folder to the right. It says Archway. CD Archway LS. And here we have things that I need to do. And I've heard from other people that they need to do it as well. So I need to add key servers for key importing. So that's done. I can get past uh, whatever it is that's blocking me. And I have now the possibility to get the keys in. 20 is trusty keys. It's again a little bit long. It's going to communicate with all the key servers. And sometimes in videos it's just whoop, five seconds it's there. And sometimes it seems to take forever. It takes as long as it takes. It's not crashed even if nothing is moving. Just wait. And if after five minutes nothing happened, you can press Ctrl C for me and then try again. So this is how long it took this time. Then we want to add Arch Linux repo to Pacman. We, we want to get packages in from the repository from Arch Linux. Okay, that's in. I see the submicron are still active there, which is okay. So we have now the possibility. Let's first go through the list. Archway thing, right? Install software Arch Linux uses in Bash or C. Ah, yes. If we have an alias, like um, reflector to change our mirrors. If you don't install the application, the alias won't work. Clearing. And then create auto login group. Okay, auto login sounds like a good idea. And that's done. Okay. Now you can run script 800 to auto login. So we are not just yet ready for that. We've created a group. Okay. What do we need next? With the new changes from November 2019, we think in a different way. We think about packages that concern desktops. These, these are the repos from Arch Linux that's, that's adding the spices in. This is the screen to show adding the spices, right? This is all Arch Linux. 140. There are packages in here that are concerning the config. The first column, it says all Arch Linux config, config, config. Those are the non-essential stuff. Non-essential. So don't install them. What I need now is a desktop essential thing. And that's always gonna be Arch Linux and then the desktop name. i3, BSP, WM, and so on, and then git behind it. So let's get that in. That's my configuration, right? That I need to launch i3. Fine. It's in etc scale. Normally I would do scale, but scale is not found. The Bash RC is not here. They don't have scale command, the copy paste from here to there. We can do it manually. We say copy paste everything from etc scale, everything that's in there, like this, and move it to my home folder. 
copy cannot stat. We've seen this message before with somebody. I believe he had an error as well. And I forgot the minus R. That's a reason. And I guess we need to do this. No. Not sure what went wrong here. I think we don't need the asterisk. Or is the shock glob thing not working here? It's possible too. Anyway, let's have a look what, what happens here. LS minus AL. CD. Let's go to the home directory. LS. Whoops. I think a whoops is in order. <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I guess I took something with it with one of my commands up there. Which one would it be? I took something with it. So, mm, <laughs> Undoing is diff more difficult than, than it is, huh? than you would think. No idea how to undo this properly. Everything is working, that's no problem. But the thing is, our copy paste went wrong. Maybe we can still fix it in the graphical environment. Eric users, so there's no root anywhere there. <laughs> Local time is in there, mtap is in there. We just copy paste a bunch of stuff over. That's not uh, not needed. So I made a huge mistake. Never mind. Um, making mistakes makes me human. Fixing them is also interesting. So the copy paste goes wrong. Let's try that again copy paste because it's still not okay I think let's first do a CD and then go inside the config folder and what's in here i3 is in here okay that's something that's what I wanted to have fine so we'll be able to log out and log in would be better but to be able to have things to work with and clean it up that mess I'm gonna install termite and through now okay and then we are going to reboot doesn't know that yet voila Not much to choose, of course, not yet. Error status i3, is that not installed? Ooh. That's that. Minus s i3 status. It's installed, so why is he Command, status command process exited unexpectedly. All right. Anyway, we have we have our stuff. What do we not need? Not from me. Maybe we do better this. This is from me. guess all the rest needs to go even that one delete Brrr. that's the fun yes to all that's the fun with um, we can't delete this one is it sure we can 
open a terminal other that's the fun of working with on a virtual machine never mind what goes wrong Ooh, that's something else <laughs> another application you can keep trying and keep learning and make mistakes all right so sudo remove me the recursively the ca thingy there so that's gone Control h we do have some stuff here cache i3 is here let's get some stuff in some more stuff from arco linux arco linux xfce because it gives us the settings for tunar and shortcuts and all that scale is not working let's let's finally first get our bezier c in the bezier c is you can find that one in Arco linux in the root this is our root Ah, oh, that's it so it's now in each scale doesn't need to be there it needs to be here so let's do just that one and get everything in um copy of course copy etc scale and inside is the bash rc okay bash rc is there and copy paste it to my bash rc my place this should contain the badge rc from us nothing available obviously sudo or check can we do a yay yay is not found but since we have our repos from arco linux you just say minus s yay actually yay bin but he knows good for him so yay sublime text is the one i wanted to get Sublet three, and it's number one. It comes straight from us, super fast. Uh, open with other application. Okay, so the bash RC is not what I want. What happens? Copy paste. The latest. Let's take that one then. And copy paste it over. to bash rc let's see here we have our bash rc that's from us now we source it again this bash rc command not found new fetch fine we want to see a nice logo from arch linux it's one of the better i think neo fetch Boom. So, CB, is that working? Uh, okay, fine. We still need to do a lot of stuff. Scale is working. Scale is now working. That's good. Now we can relaunch. We can retry our CB. That's gonna work as well. We can do a backup scale. And that's done as well. It's up here starting to get work things done right so control t sudo pacman pacman minus s we are missing the termite stuff a nice look from termites so the termite teams should come in scale super shift q control t we have our new themes coming in. We still have the error status down there. Strange thing is the icons. We don't like the icons one bit. Minus S and Linux. Forget about Arc Linux. This is either Sardi icons or Surfing icons. You install whatever icon you want, but the standard settings from us. I guess we need to log out. That's something we can do. Log out. Is it set to servant icons? No, it's not set to servant icons. Where are my settings? Control Alt T. The settings for my icons. Oh my God. Are in another package. 
Remember I said the configuration package is these config things. Okay, let's get that in. Scale. Scale. And I believe we just can need to kill this. Voila, that's something. Now that's better, but you know that I like the dark themes. The arc themes from Nico Hood will be installed. Log out. Log in. Mm, something missing. No, this is blue. This is correct. That is blue, but why is it white? That's the question I have now. Let's reboot quickly. What else to do? This thing is but ugly. You can do that as well. So it's finally time to get rid of the standard light DM greeter there. Minus S, Arch Linux, GTK, no, light DM GTK greeter. Let's see if it conflicts. I hope it does. It conflicts. So minus R. Not at Linux, of course, but LightDM is gone. Not that one, but the GTK one needs to go. There can be only one package that delivers a file. Okay, that's that. And if you want the settings as well, then you get the settings as well. Which will give us with a nicer start. But we're missing colors. Is that because of the fact? That's interesting, right? It's like a de detective. Why is he missing some things? Why is it not dark? Well, to be able to set it, I need to get something. Uh, I think I got an idea. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Remember I installed Thunar, but I did not install all the rest. Minus S. There are lots of XFCE things you can install. The settings manager is one of them. Uh, I wonder what else we need to have. Everything is in our, in our scripts, so I don't know these things by heart. I have to think about it very hard. We tried this already. Ctrl Alt M. Still a lot of things that are not available. Uh, let's take Arc Dark. Missing Arc Dark. Oh, sure, that's why it's missing. Okay, so you don't. Pacman minus S. The arc theme as such is not installed. So the, the regular arc theme, our theme is installed, but not the other one. Um, what is it called? GTK arc theme or something? GTK arc. No, arc GTK. Arc GTK theme. Uh, log out, log in. Do you see the fonts? How different the fonts look? Ah, that's better. So it was based on Arc Theme Dark, and that's true. The font is monospace 11 there, but this font here is quite, quite uh, funny. So we're missing fonts, so he'll figure that he takes a font. Now what's this here? Error, status, command, process, exit, I wouldn't know. I3 status. Okay, that's I. I3. No, 3. Command not found. 
Aha. I3 status and there's a config. What's it missing? You know what? It's all here. So open it up. We install i3 gaps next. So now we have installed i3 gaps. Would that be the reason? Would that be the reason? Let's see in the dot config i3 in the config. Scroll down all the way down. Be fast about it. And now we're back up. And here we have option i3 blocks. Wait a moment. Let's make this be gone. Be gone, be gone. So no, it's okay. i3 status. This is the status command. I always put things into the um, terminal to see if something, if they give a hint. Let's do we set X map again. I3 status minus C for configuration. What could it be? Please make sure could not set locale. Is that the reason? Not sure. The hint was of course locale. So we forgot a bit. We forgot a little bit. This thing, um, I scrolled through it, I suppose. Did not see it. So let's do this. ATC locale generation. I want to have this one and let's generate it. That's what uh, we forgot to do. So uh, that's how I figured it out because of the message here, lang, lang, lang. And I said, oh yeah, did I generate the locale? I suppose I didn't. That's how you learn every day. But it is fun to play around with it. So ANUS, got it. There you are. No, that's Spanish, Eric. That's Spanish. You'll get something Spanish out of it. That is good. ANUS, okay. Say yes. That's not done. Since we forgot to do the pseudo part. At this point in time, we are no longer root. So we need to say, I am root. Now that's done. And now we have to recreate it. Pseudo, and there's an application for it to generate locally generate. And that's it. That's something we missed. Super Shift R. There we are. We have now no more errors down here. Voila, forgot something. Where are my wallpapers? What kind of rubbish is this? Pseudo Pacman minus S. Arc Linux wallpapers. You know what? Yay. Wallpapers. Arch Linux. Community number one. Okay, we have Arch Linux wallpapers. We have variety to set the wallpapers, or you can have other applications as number six, it seems. Installing variety. What's not installed is the D menu, so we don't have a menu yet. Minus S, D menu, that's it. No, yes. Super Shift D is there at the top, you see. That's working. Um, so, variety. Super Shift D, variety launch. This, the fonts are actually not bad. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I like the fonts. Uh, I'm not sure where it's getting, probably from there. So user share backgrounds, I suppose that's where the Arch Linux images are. Hope so. So wallpaper selector, oh, there they are. Hmm. We have our own scripts for variety. So in order to make it work on every um, desktop, we have some scripts. Not sure it's gonna work straight out of the box here. I need to super X log out, log in. And we need some some things as well. I believe we're still missing stuff from XFCE as well. Let's do another approach, which is as good as any. In the meantime, minus S nitrogen. Another piece of the puzzle. Nitrogen, preferences, uh, the preferences, let's have a look where they are, user, share, backgrounds, Arch Linux, okay, let's see if that works, ah, oh, that's nice, that's working, now the content is not, um, oof. okay, back, I say ooh because it's not zoomed in. So automatic zoomed apply. That's a little bit too heavy for me. How about this one? Just blue is always better, right? Just blue. Not zoomed in again. He's not remembering. Ah, oh, he is. Zoomed fill then. Apply. Yeah, that's what I want. So zoomed fill. Zen and the art of bash scripting. Indeed, a lot of bash scripting done here. Um, what was I thinking? Damn, forgot it. So, ah yeah, the, the fact that it is not on a virtual box and it's not transparent is actually not, um, oh, sorry, it's not fun. Right, transparency can be created if you do vsync is true off. Save it, log out, log back in, control T, nitrogen. Uh, oh, it's not so transparent. Why is he not transparent? Why should be, should be, should be. Uric CT, uh, it's not installed yet. So let's take another terminal. Let's see if that's the issue. B. E. Um, oh, what is the package again? It's not Uric VT, it's always something else. I don't know. I'm gonna take XFC terminal. XFCE4, ah, that's why numlock is again off. That's not the password. That's installed, F12 is working. This is our terminal, which is still black. <laughs> I'm missing all the pieces of the puzzle. It's so much fun. I don't have pa Compton. I don't have the application Compton. Jeez. How stupid can you be? All right. Ah, looking nice, right? We're starting to get there. Now, I just saw the f the, the login, the, the 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 light DM there. That was not nice. I thought we had it set to pseudo pacman to um, 
our own greeter. GTK, I like the M, GTK greeter. That's from us. Was installed, is installed, was installed. So if that's installed, and all the scale stuff has been done, and the file system says etc light dm light dm conf that's on i can't work with that you need to get to pro so okay here it says bam bam thingies greeter session greeter session example gtk gnome no light dm gtk greeter we have our wallpapers no we don't we don't have we don't have our wallpapers okay um right i know i can copy paste this and see so i can't save why i should be able to save if I install the polkit. Polkit, what else? Polkit GNOME. Just polkit is enough. And then the as the GNOME. Poo, what package was it again? Let's have a look. The notch, the pieces of the notch. So, Arc Linux. I3. Maybe a D with it. A D. And GitHub. And I3. We, I know we have the, the files, in, but you can have a look like this as well. Mm was thinking about number 200 hmm? control find something pull pull kit gnome we took there okay might be the it control save control set let's log out System Lightium dot conf save nice pop up now it's saved not sure if this is correct light dm gtk greeter okay the wallpaper Is this one so we're saying our dark sardi monocolora are you looking so we we do need we do need the wallpapers to have a nice welcoming screen the one oops the one from our clinics Like so, now we can log out. Okay, that's nicer. I'm already tired of the wallpaper. Is that me? Probably. Uh -huh. Our new wallpaper. That's the last wallpaper in which we will represent Arclinix for the coming months. So, we have already this. I did a scale. <laughs> I did a scale. What happens when you do a scale? You overwrite it again. So my i3, content conf, console find virtual, is vsync true again. Uh, come on. 
okay I can type why doesn't this this one guy this one work because I should do something about this I should do something about it safe so what you do for all you have to do if you want to keep stuff from overwriting super simple Control C Control V have a copy so when everything something happens we do it pseudo pacman minus s we do a melt we install the package melt and right mouse click compare and you see the things that um, are the same and what are different so the deconf is different and that's it for now when i do a scale everything is overwritten do a refresh and you see lots of things have been changed with this overwriting stuff and the thing and you put back whatever you want i want this back and i want this not important not important to run xml some stuff probably not important so you can also go in the other way around say okay this is what i have i want to keep as a backup so there's this uh, dot how's it called copy one thing is can be your copy or just rename it a bit a little bit nicer right just rename it is that f2 oh, yeah that's the together okay config and you give it an official name like right go so super x don't want to work with a terminal that's not uh, transparent don't like it hate it i would like to i want to see always my uh, wallpaper Phew. looking already good but we're still arch well we've been always arch but we're spicing up uh, it with with code and design from Arco Linux. and that's the fun uh, in the meantime we've learned a lot you've seen me make mistakes fix them again and it's it's great it's good uh, it's the way to to learn the only way to acquire more knowledge what else well everything else right Jesus where can I set this thing here this map forever and ever let me look all right um I went to look for the code at some xorg x board uh, x uh, keyboard configuration I had to read quite a lot actually until all I saw here this locale ctl and what's the code I needed this one sudo locale ctl set x11 key map be not be dash latin one or something so i tried a lot of things here uh, so it was this one be and let's see if that works if we do a super x and log out and log back in if we have still a zerti because at the point that was bugging me so i'm gonna write that code somewhere in um, maybe make an alias for it right so i have it always hmm no we'll see anyway that's the solution good um so uh, we were talking about what else can we do right this this is you can do this is what you can do uh we're still for oh, so long away um we only have i3 so basically um Control C. Let's do a BSPWM kit. Let's get some stuff in. Article Linux. Um, let's do it alphabetically, Eric. You won't that we don't forget anything. There's awesome. There is BSPWM. There is um, who else? We are getting i3. We have Herb WM. We have Qtile and Xmogonata. I should have six. And we need for Xmonad, we need to choose. And choose in the sense that we are gonna base ourselves on Polybar. So that's that. 
if you say polybar then you better get a puzzle in the lego block polybar now this will not work because we need yay for it yay minus s polybar fine go get it that was not a one i think but it's gonna install anyway yep i think so question mark How many cores are we using? Because this will take forever. Control C. Use all cores. The numlock, I should put it on four cores. Now we're using four cores. And this thing will go much faster if we do work with four cores instead of one. So Polybar is installing pseudo pacman minus s arch linux what else um no arch linux is done sure now we need all the stuff in to install awesome so vicious as well maybe we can do them together yep we can while the other one is building we can quickly squeeze in BSPWM and SXUHHQ Demon. Yep, quickly through. What else? Um, head up sleuth WM as well. And Q Tyler. Now, I must say, Xmonad, I don't know by heart what to do with Xmonad. <laughs> the other one is waiting for me. Lock. Oh, and it's finished. So I said um, this this is a bit too much for me, right? Spice up arch, where should we cut? We should go to Article D, get rid of the D, and get yourself a B. Go to Xmonads and go and have a look the bottom what are all the packages I need and last time these guys last time I remember that we needed to install the dbus so xmonad let's try the Haskell dbus yeah that's the one let's try just this one so we learn again so I've well that's a lot so xmonad is installed, dbus is installed, I'm not going to use xmonad contrib and xmonad utils that I've done last time. So I'm going to see if this is going to work for Haskell without these two puzzles. Ta -da! Looking good, right? But crashing, no crashing. We forgot something. <laughs> Always good to forget something. We forgot to get the Arcolinux polybar stuff, or did we do that? I'm not sure anymore. Let's see. Yep, we've got it. Scale. And then sudo reboot. Now he knows SR. How is that possible? This is just a playground. So, X, what can we know by this thing here? Any hints what he might be missing? I would say a lot of things. That's the hint. Ctrl Alt is not working. So, Ctrl F3. And then sudo pacman minus S. Let's try Xmonad Contrib. Put. What if we add that package and just that one? Will that launch Xmonad? That's one of the more complex uh, desktops to get it launched, but hence all the fun to figure out do we need anything? Do we need this? Do we need that? 
Mm, polybar. Ah, there it is. Mm, we need still some stuff up here. Uh, probably icons as well. Control T is not working. No, it's not. Ah, it is. Why is Control T not working then? New Rix VT thingy. Let's take a look. What was the name again? Control Find URXVT. It's another name. I always forget it. Let me just quickly look. All right, found it. RXVT Unicode. That's the thing I need to install. Let's see if that is helping things. <laughs> I am now my own machine, I think. <laughs> Control T. Yeah, that's better. Uh, sudo pacman minus sr xvt. Every time I say I need to remember it, and it's gone again. So that's that. Super T is working. Ctrl T is working, Ctrl Alt Return is working. Okay, that was it. I was missing another package. This is, of course, you would maybe you would think, hey Eric, um, this is back again black, eh? You see that? So, no, it's definitely that it's gonna be every single time you need to tell the system this is the content comp for this guy there's just not one Compton Conf we can do different kind of things with it you can have uh, choices super x is not working it's um, what's behind there is sudo pacman minus s article linux we log out is in there and that's not installed now it is Super X is now ugly, but ugly things. <laughs> it's good to see it sometimes. Oh, strange things. So maybe it's a good thing to get the themes there as well. Because that was a bit ugly. Super X. Okay. Logout. So that's your minimal approach, I'm guessing. Um, so I installed from these guys I installed this one this one that one and that one so I, I skipped this one and doesn't make any noise about xmonad log either okay and polybar we installed as well still some stuff here that uh, we need to install But you get the drift. The idea is not to make it a perfect thing, just to get you going and find your pieces of the puzzle. Here it says config error, default config. We get, that's what we get, Control F2. Let's have a look. Um, Q tile, your knowledge is here. So it was on the right side of my of me yellow screen so q tile is here and everything you need for the iso to work is here Psst, python that's maybe something that is missing might be totally different thing it's missing we're just having fun oh, done installed sudo reboot Anything else? Not directly. The only thing is, I hope I did the scale. There's no configuration on the, on the, your own home directory. How can it know what to do? Right? Yep, that's the thing you needed. Let's get our fonts in because this is not nice. It was um, an awesome font. 
awesome terminal fonts. I think it's this one because there are different kind of fonts and it's all in the scripts. I'd rather not peek and just try. All right, that's it. So Xmonad is more or less there. Control T, return, fine, log out. We look how it is installed, that's for everything okay. So we've done these two. Awesome, Control T. They use another kind of font. Let's do it, let's speak because this, if we have one font, that must be something else. So I invite you to do exactly the same that I do. And you'll become much more to than I am because in the fact uh, yeah, we we have an, an ISO and it's working so why would you do this exercise right so you'll become smarter than me you learn the pieces of the puzzle there's another font NSS D df font awesome that's not my password okay still not the right thing how was it looking missing what the kind of font we used but this looks actually great without all our tweaking and we have a different look different font but this is a font I don't think we've written it down somewhere let's see awesome themes multicolor theme Lua Control find font not of we don't have the not of font sudo backend minus s the not of font is it this one let's see super shift r reloads everything it was the not of fonts that we missed awesome is done BSPWM. BSPWM. Is this BSPWM? Yep. Okay. Nothing to do, right? Log out. Herbsluft. Alrighty. Okay, it's just slow. That's it. Fine. You can have your day off it's sunday after all and then i3 back so one two three four five six so do we have six tiling window managers and none of the desktop environments um so it's all a choice it's whatever you do you can get plasma on here you can get mate on here you can have cinnamon on here it really doesn't matter but the thing is you're um, invited to work like this at some point in time when your your skills are enough and your enough uh, patience and time maybe you can do the same exercise I did right now and then become um, aware of all the pieces and the puzzles that, that uh, finally fit together and say okay that's how everything works and you get acquainted with your system like you have never been uh, in depth learning of a operating system ever all right have fun i'm gonna shut down the video here cheers